You're gonna have to draw on me to get me out. You might have found me, but you won't beat me, bounty hunter. One, two, two. three. I'm back again doing another video no one asked for, but yet again with the lockdowns and isolations going on, you may have more spare time than you normally would. I'm Duty, and again, I'll be providing a review on a game that if you haven't already played, you need to, but also take another look at again if you've already finished it. I'm taking a look at one of the biggest games of 2018, Red Dead Redemption 2. You know, you're a lot less ugly from that other angle, Arthur. Come on. <laughs> Now yes, this game has been out for some time and I'll do what I can to avoid spoilers. If you've not already played Red Dead Redemption 2 and you want nothing at all spoiled in regards to gameplay or whatever, what are you doing here? If you've not played Red Dead Redemption when it came out on the Xbox 360 and the PlayStation 3, then don't worry as Red Dead Redemption 2 acts as a prequel to that sensational title. You'll play as Arthur Morgan, a member of the Dutch Vandalin gang and sort of the second in charge if you will. As part of the Vandalin gang, you'll rob trains and banks, you'll go on the run from authorities and be chased by bounty hunters, you'll go into gator-infested swamps, which is flat up terrifying. You'll also do smaller things like herd cattle and build a house. Yep, build a damn house. If you've been watching Westworld, Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid, or even Back to the Future 3, then Red Dead Redemption 2 will have something for you. DeLorean unincluded. You'll fall in love with Arthur Morgan and the extended gang and in some instances legitimately care about what happens to these characters. If you've yet to finish Red Dead Redemption 2 then this is the perfect time as the story and the ending of Red Dead Redemption 2 is better than Game of Thrones. Think we can talk? I don't kill for fun. I kill when I need to. Outside of the main campaign there is a load to do. During my first run in 2018 I focused just on the main campaign and left majority of these side missions alone as honestly at the time I couldn't care, and fuck, I was wrong. The start of my intro, as you can see, I've pulled some Red Dead Redemption 2, and capturing this footage is what pulled me back into Red Dead. I've now started my second run through, and I'm hunting animals and making new clothes. Now this may sound boring as fuck, but getting two perfect beaver pelts took me over two hours to track, and I enjoyed every minute of it. As trivial as hunting beavers is, I was experiencing parts of the game I'd never seen before. When the sun went down I'd set up a small camp to eat and rest and was threatened by locals in the area. Now I'd never seen something like this in the game before and it first freaked me out the second they had me surrounded. They let me off with a warning as to not to return to their area, so I turned around and killed them. While still hunting beavers, <laughs> Shut up, butters. I found these hostile locals killing a couple picnicking by the river. I was not only horrified, but I flat up turned into the Sainer Killers. This is just an example, but even now on my second playthrough, I'm seeing things I've never seen before. For those of you who haven't played Red Dead 2, when it starts in the story mode, it'll teach you how to hunt animals, how to cook, how to survive, equip clothing for certain environments, but most importantly, how to shoot. Returning to Red Dead Redemption 2, I actually had to remember how to shoot as it isn't as simple as aim and shoot. You'll still need to aim, but after firing a round, you'll need to pull the right trigger, which is normally the button to fire your weapon, again to pull the hammer back on your revolver. Multiple times I'd forgotten this mechanic and gotten fucked up. But again, fuck me, the combat and shootouts in Red Dead are epic. Going into a showdown takes a bit more timing to learn, but once you master it, you'll feel like Clint Eastwood in no time. On top of that, you'll also have Deadeye, which is a slow-mo mode which will let you take your time to lining up headshots or perform a heap of shots on one target. A little bit like McCree's ultimate from Overwatch. Up here. Kill this fool. It's Sorry, mister. My mistake. Please! No! Oh, you bastard! Now one of my favourite aspects is you'll be able to play as Arthur your way. If you want to be a heroic cowboy that people love and respect, no problem. You'll even get discounts at stores and be able to purchase exclusive outfits. On the other hand, if you like playing as a rough outlaw that has no problem shooting a blind fortune teller in the head or shooting a horse out from underneath another rider causing them to fall, go right ahead.
there's nothing cooler than being a feared outlaw walking into a saloon and hearing the saloon go dead quiet. So, Just like in The Witcher 3, Arthur's hair will grow in-game and he'll also start to smell. You'll be able to style your hair and your facial hair any way you wish. If you don't regularly shave, you'll have stubble, and before you know it, you'll have a great big bushy beard. Come on! You'll also be able to go to barbers and style your hair and hotels and have a bath. If you've been out in the woods hunting beavers or bears or flat up killing anything that you see, after a while, you'll start to smell and flies will actually hang around you. Citizens will even tell you that you smell and also earn an immediate shot to the head at the same time. In Red Dead Redemption 2, you play as Arthur Morgan, but you play him your way. On top of all this, you'll also be able to change Arthur's clothing, and depending on what he's wearing, will determine if he can survive in certain climates. Head into the mountains with only a vest and a shirt on, sure, you'll still look like a badass, but Arthur's health will start to drop. Walk into the middle of the desert with a woolen coat, gloves, and a thick-ass vest on, Arthur will get too hot, and again, his health will be affected. Thankfully, you'll be able to store outfits on your horse and quickly swap them as you're traversing the world. Territory, mister. We've been beaten down and driven out enough. Come away peacefully and you can live, Mr. Wop. As you can see and probably hear, I love Red Dead Redemption 2. But some of my mates aren't a fan of it and there's a few reasons for this. The intro to Red Dead 2 is pretty slow and will take you a couple of hours, if not more, to leave the starting area and finally set out to a town to customise Arthur Morgan and play your way. Another mate pointed out that Red Dead Redemption 2 is very cinematic and less of a video game and I completely understand this. Cinematic moments in games are fantastic, like the badass moments we've had in Tomb Raider and Gears of War and the most recent Resident Evil 3 that we got a couple weeks ago. But Red Dead has these moments so frequently, it feels like you're watching a show and not playing a game. Also, Red Dead is very much a survival game. You'll need to manage Arthur's hunger, his energy, his dead eye, and his horse's hunger and energy. If Arthur has no food in his stomach, he won't be able to regenerate health. If he has no energy, he won't be able to run and regain stamina. If his dead eye is empty, you won't be able to go into a slow-mo mode. Likewise for your horse. If it has no stamina, it won't go very far or very fast. You'll also need to clean your horse, as when it gets dirty, it affects his or hers mood and health. These mechanics also move over into Red Dead Online, and you'll need to manage everything exactly like you do in single player. It'd be like having to put fuel in your car and service it every couple of hours in Grand Theft Auto. You're gonna have to keep it under 60 miles an hour for a while. You gotta come in and you gotta get the oil changed every thousand miles. How much money is this gonna cost me? I don't understand you. Nice horse you got there. I paid top dollar for this beauty. Fast as a bullet. Wanna see how yours compares? How about a race to Awanjilla? Ah, uh, I reckon I'll pass. I knew it. A coward can't bear to face it's a better racer. If you've got a copy of Red Dead Redemption 2 sitting on your shelf and you're looking for something to play whilst your mates are offline, or just flat up looking for something to do during national lockups that are going on, Red Dead Redemption 2 is a game that will keep your attention for not only weeks, but months at a time. It can be a little slow or tedious for some at the start of the game, and I completely understand that gamers aren't a fan of it. If from watching this you're thinking about trying it again, stick with it and sink yourself into the world. And I promise, by the time you finish it, you'll be right as rain. If you have finished it once, go back and do a second run and play as an outlaw rather than a heroic character or vice versa and see the different endings. Go and hunt all the legendary weapons. Go hunting for treasure in caves, steal more, save more, do more. Red Dead Redemption 2 released in 2018 and is available on the PC, the Xbox One and the PlayStation 4. I hope you've enjoyed the video and remember, don't be like Arthur Morgan. Stay away from people that are coughing. Side.